Ever wondered how your credit score is calculated? What mysterious algorithms churn behind the scenes, shaping the trajectory of your financial journey? Well, buckle up, because today, we're diving into the fascinating world of credit scores. A credit score is a three-digit number that tells lenders how likely you are to repay borrowed money. It's like your financial GPA, a summary of your credit health. This magic number ranges from 300 to 850, with a higher number indicating better credit health. Now you may be asking, how on earth is this number calculated? Well, there are several methods, but the most common one is the FICO score, named after the Fair Isaac Corporation that developed it. The FICO score is calculated using five main factors, payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, new credit, and types of credit used. First up, payment history. This is the big one, accounting for 35% of your FICO score. It looks at whether you've paid past credit accounts on time, so pay those bills promptly, folks, because late payments can really hurt your score. Next, we have amounts owed, making up 30% of your score. This doesn't mean that owing money is bad. In fact, lenders want to see that you can handle debt responsibly. But if you're using a high percentage of your available credit, it may indicate that you're overextended and more likely to miss payments. Length of credit history accounts for 15% of your score. This factor considers the age of your oldest account, the age of your newest account, and the average age of all your accounts. Generally, a longer credit history will increase your score. New credit is 10% of your score. Opening several new credit accounts in a short period can represent greater risk, especially for people with a short credit history. Finally, types of credit used make up the remaining 10%. This includes credit cards, retail accounts, installment loans, finance company accounts, and mortgage loans. Having a mix of credit types can help boost your score. So, why does your credit score matter? Well, it can affect whether you're approved for a credit card, a mortgage, or even a job. It can also influence the terms and rates you're offered. A higher score can save you a lot of money over time. Understanding your credit score is the first step toward improving it. Here are a few tips. Pay your bills on time. Keep balances low on credit cards. Don't close unused credit cards as long as they're not costing you money. Apply for new credit only when necessary, and check your credit report regularly for accuracy. Remember, credit scores aren't mysterious or scary. They're tools that reflect your credit health. By understanding how they work, you can take control of your financial future. So go forth and conquer your credit score.